Live from Italia. I'm in Greece. Finally made it to you. Live from Spain. I'm, I'm in Bali. Live in San Trini, Greece. From a beautiful, amazing Tulum. I have a question. When starting your business, what was the turning point that helped you feel confident in sharing what you wanted to do? I'm deciding to share what I want to share, but I still feel uneasy if anyone will feel drawn to work with me. My answer is that you're going to be afraid, Kai. You're going to be afraid as fuck. You're going to be afraid. I was afraid. I'm still afraid all the time. <laughs> I was nervous to do this live stream. I'm nervous and afraid Every time I go live, I'm nervous and afraid. Every time I send an email that says something crazy, I write Facebook posts every day that I know people are judging. Not just do I have the false idea in my mind that I could be judged, but there's literally a hate group where they share all my posts into so they can make fun of it. So my answer is, oh, oh the fuck well. Like, are you called or are you not? Do you have something to say or do you not? Like. What's more important, the fact that it, people might judge you and hate you and that you might feel scared or that you have something to fucking say. So for me, I feel mostly loved. I feel very much supported by my audience. I feel like I have a whole community of incredible people around me, but am I judged every day for how boldly I share and what I do and the fact that I get in a bathtub with money? Am I a little divisive? Yeah. And am I going to do it any differently? Absolutely fucking not. So... It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. And there are a lot of things more powerful than fear. You are more powerful than fear. The love in you is more powerful than fear. The call of God on your life is more powerful than fear. It is all a lot more powerful than fear. So I sense the fear. I see the fear. I recognize the fear. I don't run from the fear. I feel it. I'm like, and I'm nervous, and I'm terrified, and I feel all those fucking feelings. I feel it. And then I go back to feeling something greater and I show up. I show up because I have something to say. And it's that whole, uh, that gospel of Thomas quote. It's one of the books they took out of the Bible during all the Protestant Reformation stuff. Or I don't know actually when this book was removed. I'm rusty on my church history. It's been a few years since Bible college. But the book of Thomas says, um, when you bring forth what you have to give, what you bring forth will save you. And if you do not bring forth what you have to give, what you do not bring forth will destroy you. I have to. Like, I have to share what I know to be truth. I have to share the messages that have been put in my heart. I have to share this. I do not feel like I have a choice. I feel like I will die if I am quiet on the inside about the things that I know for sure, the things that I feel called to talk about, the things that have been put on my heart and impressed in me. So I show up. I show up when it's scary. I show up when they share my mug shot all over the internet. Do you guys remember that? So I'll just tell the story really, really quick. So I uh, was arrested for a DUI like two and a half years ago and the case was dismissed because I never left the parking spot. Kind of like long story, but it was dismissed. It was expunged. I didn't drive, the whole thing. Anyway, this person who started these crazy online threads about me made a fake account, friend requested all my most influential friends, and on Thanksgiving shared my mugshot and tagged all my friends and clients. That happened this year a few months ago. Is what I do still worth it to me? Yeah. Is what I do still important to me? Yeah. Do I understand that by being more and more in the public eye, they're probably going to say more and more crazy things about me? Yeah. Am I up for the challenge? You better fucking believe it. So... Are you called or are you not? Do you have something to say or do you not? Is this life, is this career, is this person, is this purpose, is this passion worth it to you? Because it's not worth, if it's not worth it to you, then, you know, go home. Because <laughs> it's real out here. But I wouldn't do it any other way.